everyone, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps, and I am going to make another holiday soap. Uh, this one, you know, I, I don't remember everything that's in the scent, but it's kind of fruity. It's kind of like a holiday candy scent, but it's not sickingly sweet. batches that I'm doing today. This is my third. I don't have a lot of room behind me because a couple of them are using a lot of colors, including this one. I'm going to try a new technique. Well, new to me technique. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's not a total flop. I did because it's supposed to be uh, user friendly. It's not supposed to accelerate. It's not supposed to change the color. And that's what I need. I'm going to do something called a gradient soap. is just bouncing off my table and blinding me. Hang on a second. Not that I'm complaining about the sun. I'm going to really have to keep an eye on the time. because I have a feeling my 10 minute timer will give up. Okay. So, I'm going to need I'm gonna start out with just a cup. White. Uh, let me think here. Do I want my white in my big container? Hold on, I'm going to pause this for a second. I've got to think about this. All right, I think I have this figured out. I don't know. I think I'm overthinking this. I know I'm overthinking this. So... Let's not spill the big bowl of soap. This is my white. Which is going to need to be a lot wider. Can you get me my big bottle of white that's already mixed up, please? One of my kids is home from school, so I have a helper. Yay! Yes, thank you. Okay. 
just mixing up my colors really fast. This is not going to be an epic fail or failure. Okay. Whoa. Got my mole. I'm going to start by pouring some red in. I'm not going to use it all. Hoping if I estimated right to use about a cup. I like, I prefer just eyeballing things. Make sure I get it all in the corners. Now I'm going to add, you know, I'm just going to wing it, add some white. It's the measurements, the measuring that is throwing me off. It's making me think too hard. So just lighten it up. I probably added a little too much white, but oh well. A little late now. So lighten that up a bit. And I want some distinct layers, so I'm just gonna this is still kind of thin. I hope it doesn't you know it's it's sitting on there okay. Hope you can see, but I need to keep the mold out of the way. You have five more minutes. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. I think I hear the bus, so you're going to hear some more munchkins come running through the door here in a second. Spread this out a little without making a mess in the layer below. So I can see where I need more. I totally missed the side closest to me here. Can you see what I'm doing in there? Yep. Okay, thank you. Almost done. That's good enough. I'm not horribly worried about the sides because I do plain all my soaps. So I take off just a smidget of the edge. Okay, throw in some more white here. My white's getting thick. that much. This is my last layer of red. So 
Sorry for the ball squeaking in the background. It is his favorite toy and probably the most annoying one that we have. I love these liners, except for this thing that they do. Oh, that was not very smart at all. I'm not going to spoon this whole thing in. I'm just going to get myself a nice base and then I'll pour. slippery. Oops. I can't even hold on to the spatula. It's so slippery now. I'm going to spread this out. How much time? One minute. to decide if I want to leave some of this for the top or not. Yeah, I think I'll be just a little bit. And I think we're going to pause uh, before I do the green. Go ahead. Okay, now I'm going to do a layer of white, which my white is getting really thick. right in the way. There's really no getting around that. I've whoops, tried having the camera on the other side of the table. That was worse. I can't really have it in front of the table. So it's kind of, it is what it is. Smells so good. Yeah, I can smell all the way from here. Mm -hmm. Kind of smells, it's fruity, but it smells like Christmas, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It makes me think of silver bells. That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm, there you go. Okay. I'm sure my layers are not going to be nice and straight, and, but you know, it's all right. I do not aim for perfection, because if I did, I would be disappointed every time. Okay, so now I need, I'm going to save a little bit of white for the top. Is that enough? I think I'm going to have more green than I need now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, well. Out of the way. So 
now I'm going to do this, wow, that got really thick, do this backwards, and I'm going to add some green to the white. You see that? That's a cool color. Thank you. All right, I think the white is thick enough. Let's see if I can just pour this. Smack that down again. And a little bit more. It's a lot in the bowl. Sorry, I know that's horrendously loud, but the problem I have is if I pick up the mold and try to take it someplace else, my hands are slippery, and I'm really afraid I'm going to drop it, and that would be something that I would do. So I just take about half of what is left here. And I think I saved more white than I needed, but... All right, this is the first time I have done this soap. My hand is cramping. First time I've done this soap, so. I am learning as I go. I think I need a little bit more dark green in there. house I soap in my dining room um, I have a big great room and it's all open there is a half wall well, it's, it's a full wall but um, I have huge vaulted ceiling so it doesn't go all the way up to the ceiling and um, the kids are in the other room when I'm soaping so they're nowhere near where I am the little ones the big ones come out and watch but from a distance we have very strict rules um, so you can hear the kids in the other room, but they are at a very safe distance. All right, just, that was a lot, a lot of green. Boy, if I had used that much soap in the other layers, this would have been a lot easier. Okay. of the green which is getting so thick that is a lot yeah oh my hand is cramping up I'm having a hard time holding on to the spatula
this top layer is not going to go as well as I would like. I did add, I did save too much white, but oh well. How much time do we have? One minute. Well, this is going to be a long video, and I, I didn't film the whole thing either, so sorry. I hope you're not totally bored out of your mind. Okay, we're going to pause so that the camera doesn't stop, and we'll be right back. Okay. Now I'm going to add my super thick white. Hopefully I don't have a ton of air bubbles. But sometimes that is just the way it goes, and it doesn't change the soap at all. It's just the way it looks. I like when you have glycerin rivers on the last few bars that I made. The weather really made it difficult and I ended up with some glycerin rivers. It doesn't change the soap, it just is the way the soap looks. I mean, you want the glycerin. The glycerin is, you know, it occurs when you make the soap. And commercial, commercial soap companies take the glycerin out. So you're losing all the benefits of even having soap take out the glycerin and replace it with detergent. So if you haven't used handmade soap before you're, and you're buying commercial bars, look at your labels and Google them. What does it say on there? Beauty bar, body bar, something like that. They don't even say soap because they're not. Okay. So I'm just going to add a little bit of the should have saved some of the red. What it should have saved is some of each of the color, but oh well. Hindsight. I'm happy that I ended up with three layers of each color, no matter how small they're going to be. I didn't want a whole lot of color on the top anyway. A little bit of green. So I know for next time, three cups is probably going to be fine for my top color. Can you find me a spoon in there, please? Thank you. Oh, let me wash my hands again. And I should probably smack this down. Okay. Can you see that? Much better. Oh, I didn't really want to pull the green up from the bottom, but oh well. Thank you. You missed the first few layers that we did. The bottom is red. It's really pretty. I think that sounds cool. Yeah. yeah. And she's talking about the soaps that I did while she was at school. I've got two batches behind me that are done. All right. I'm wipe the soap off my fingers again. The glitter part is my favorite. Yep. Here comes the glitter. Just like these sparks. Okay, so this is a Christmas soap. Again, the scent is kind of a fruity scent, a fruity Christmas scent. Um, I don't have a name for it yet. Hopefully I will when I do the cutting video. This will be cured on October 31st. Happy Halloween. 
and will be available for purchase on my website at stargazersoaps.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.